Today I want to show you guys how to make some Belizean stewed beans the right way guys. We're not going to make no long water beans, we're not going to make it too thick. It's going to be just perfect and we're going to pair it with some white rice, alright? Take a look at how gorgeous this is. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant style meals, comfort foods and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. I started last night with the beans guys. I went ahead and washed a cup of red kidney beans and then I put it in the uh, slow cooker with some chopped up onions, some cilantro that still had the stem and was washed of course. A little bit of garlic. You can put more garlic if you like and then a ton of water. I put like eight cups of water. I set it up like 11.30 last night. It's 10.41 right now. So let's see what our beans look like because now I'm going to transfer it into a pot to cook it on the stove top, all right? So let me get something to take the beans out with. All right, guys, I hope this steam doesn't hit my lens. See, it's soft. This is soft enough to make rice and beans if you wanted to make rice and beans, okay? So we're going to be doing stew beans. This is my second cookbook. It's called The Pantry Laid Bare. And you're going to want to pick up a copy of this for Thanksgiving because it has a lot of fun recipes. Take a look, guys. Remember to check underneath the video below to find out how to purchase. Let me get something to bail the water, well, the beans and the broth out with. Show it, Joe. Follow me with the camera, Joe. I'm going to start run my show like this, guys. On me, Joe. <laughs> right. start Don't start with me. Joe says, don't start. Can you back up, please? My nose is a little bit too big for the killer. <laughs> get a nose job. You guys, no, I would never get a nose job. <laughs> My, um, I'm going to start running the show like that to where you guys can actually see how the show is manufactured because sometimes I think I run my show too, like, prissy, 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 prissy for it to be, like, put on TV or something. Which, in, I, I don't know that I would want to be on TV. I'd want to be on Netflix. I'd like to have a show on Netflix. Anyways, um, let me tell you what we did today. We went out for our bike ride, the six mile ride. So three miles out and three miles back. And it was a cold day. Now, with the mask, when it's cold and it, like it gets foggy really easily, even though we have, we have a really unique mask that Joe makes for us where it sits right on your nose and then the, your glasses sit on it. So it cuts down on the fog, but doesn't cut it out completely. So it was foggy, our fingers were cold. Um, but by the time we got to the end, we got warm. And then when we came back, we picked oranges on the trail because we are allowed to do that. And so we got quite a few. Let me tell you, I told you I want to do a video that's called, you know your Belizean if, and, and, and tell all the funny things, right? And um, one of the things that I had was, you know your Belizean if you make like this, that's a spoon becomes something else that you can use it for and Joe used my monopod that I'm supposed to put my camera on on the top he put a hook on the end of it to pull the oranges so the monopod can open kind of long right and <laughs> I love country Joe let me tell you what he's gonna do for me too guys you see this thing right here this bench scraper thingy this rubber thing I don't know if it gets like clammy this way because of the fact that it's in the kitchen and it gets hot but the rubber's like melting see how I put my nail and my nail's not even strong or long and it does that and then sometimes when I'm kneading dough this black stuff see see some my nail right here Joe show it the black stuff gets in the dough so I can't use this to cut dough I can't use it for anything so Joe says he's going to remove this handle and put a wooden handle for me I'm like yes I'm looking forward to that so this is all we're going to do we're not going to put any salt or black pepper yet we're just going to go ahead and put this pot here Put the fire on. I'm putting it on the double uh, boiler because of the fact double boiler, yeah, double boiler because of the fact that um, I wanted to cook fast because there's a lot of water in there. Remember, we put eight cups, and I'm just gonna let it reduce. There's nothing to stew beans. I'm not doing pigtails. Why? Because one, we don't have any. Two, I don't like it. And three, Joe should not be eating pigtails because he is a man of a particular color and a man of a particular age. And six years ago, he was borderline high blood pressure, but that's on the control and without medication too. And um, go look at my video about the sorrel, S-O-R-R-E-L-L, -L, I think, the um, Jamaica. Go look on that video and see how, you know, Joe gets his blood pressure under control. So we don't need all that salt. So you're not going to see me do that. I don't even have any in the house. So I'm just going to let that cook. I'm going to put the lid on a little bit later when it cooks down for a little bit. Well, maybe I could put it on now. Just keep it cracked open. If your lid doesn't have the hole in there for it to vent, 
keep it cracked open a little bit so it doesn't boil over on top of the stove okay because i hate cleaning up stuff that's boiled over so this is stewed beans that we're making right so to go with the stewed beans i'm gonna be cooking a fish you guys like my skirt these are two jeans pants that i put together years ago and this belt was from a, a friend that has this business Pro 31 and I can't wear this shirt on the green screen. You guys, I had another video to put up right now instead of this video. But the, the vegetables that I was eating on the mukbang didn't come out well with the green screen. So I'm not putting it up. Let's see, I have some fish. I'm going to set it to thaw. Joe already seasoned it with some salt and black pepper. And we're going to pan sear this fish to go with the stew beans. And we're also going to make some white rice. So I think for this video, I'm just going to do the beans and the white rice, okay? So I'm going to switch out right now so that I can have Joe come show us how to do the white rice. You know, someone once told me to stop talking about things that I don't want people to remember. So that's why I had stopped talking about my first Belizean cookbook that's being sold on Amazon. I wanted you guys to forget that it existed. Because you guys are buying the book at an alarming rate still though, guys. I have to talk about it. So that's why I keep bringing it up. Do not buy this book. I don't make any profits from this book. Only buy this book, Beans and Rice Volume 2. It has 120 authentic Belizean recipes. You can get it directly from me only. And you can check the description below to find out the information on how to purchase. Thanks, guys. This is three cups of long grain white rice. And I'm just washing it while Joe runs the camera. But he's going to show us all the measurements, okay? Now, I could do this in a rice cooker, but I'm going to do it on the stove top. Because not everybody owns a rice cooker, right? Just wash it about two or three times to get off the starch. I remember as a child growing up in Belize, I would have to help my Aunt Tadine pick the rice the night before. What that means is the rice would have a lot of um, stuff in it, like I think some of the the shell from the rice. Is it the shell, Joe? Right? Mm -hmm. The beans would have like sand in it. Stones. And all. Stones and sand and stuff in it. And we'd have to pick all that stuff the night before to pick out that crap out of it. And then um, they cook it the next day. So. Cooking is not as easy. I don't know about now, but when I grew up in Belize, cooking is not as easy as uh, what well, we have it over here in America because this rice is pretty much clean, right? Okay, so let's move over to the counter and let Joe do his magic. Hello, people. Um, Joe, I'm cooking some white rice here. It's like three cup of white rice. So we're going to put this in this pot or something. It's a quart pot or something like that. I think it's a three quart pot. Uh -huh, okay. And we can put some water in here and we put it in the stove. That's it. No so this is, this is going to be plain white rice, yeah. right? No, no a lot of fancy paper. stuff and all that. Okay. And get some water. Do you want to use that little bit of coconut milk that I have in there? Yeah, sure. Let's see. So plain white rice can also have the coconut milk. Oh, we don't have it. Oh, it's done? oh yeah, it was in that glass. It, it was smelling bad, yeah. So we're good. I can tell you guys that my cup that he used just now is a 16 ounce cup, but don't go by that, all right? Joe's gonna show you the level of the water okay. above the rice. See we're still not at the level. See, you can still see the rice almost. We need a little bit more water. Okay. Okay, see? Here's the rice. Put it in there. And it's about right there. Can you show them with my wooden spoon that I made the one inch mark? You can't make too much one inch mark. It all depends on the pot. I know. Okay. I know. So when the spoon touches the rice. It's right there. Where did it come to? It got right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now one inch is from your fingertip without long nails to this mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. mark. Mm -hmm. The camera doesn't want to unfocus. Show it, Joe. Show it on your finger for me. It's not, see, it's almost there. Why do you have to show the middle finger? 
It's so like that's the, a, so mark a wooden spoon at the one inch mark. It's like a three quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. Okay. And see, we good. So can I ask a question? Why don't you boil the water first and then throw in the rice? I've never cooked it like that and I don't know how. I never do it like that. I, this is the way I do it for my, I know myself, so. Okay. And we're gonna put it over here on the stove. We're gonna put it on on the low and just leave it there. You don't have to hurry yourself or nothing. You're not gonna put the simmering? If you want, yeah, you could do that too. But you don't have to do it. And these come by a three pack from Amazon and it's linked below. You gonna put the lid on? Yep. No? Put yes. And that's it people. That's it. I mean if you wanna put season in it, it's up to you, but this but this video was supposed to be plain white rice. Right. Okay. And if you were putting in the coconut milk, you would have to put less water because that's another Cut. liquid. Okay, so the beans is cooking, the rice is cooking, and we'll be back when we have more to tell. So let's check on the beans first, guys. See, this is very thick. I'm gonna go ahead and season it with salt and pepper, but before I do that, let's look at the rice. So all the water has boiled out, and Joe's just giving it a stir and letting it cook a little while longer until the rice grains are soft. So let me go ahead and season this. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and then give it a stir and taste, all right? The salt is to your taste, the pepper is to your taste. That's enough pepper. It's choking me, guys. I need a teaspoon of salt and that will be enough but I want to show you how thick it is. Okay, see how thick this is? This is thick enough because as the beans cool down, it's gonna get thicker, okay? All right, guys, let me go ahead and pour out these beans. So we could do the thumbnail. No mess, no mess, no mess. So the rice is ready. Let's see what it looks like. I just shut off the stove. It's still on. It's still on? <laughs> and that's the kind of stuff we're gonna leave in, Joe. Don't jerk the camera. <laughs> I thought I shut it off. See how the house was gonna burn down? I saved these things that comes with the rice cooker. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this. Let me show you how it looks. See, it's a little bit sticky yet loose. Okay, if you want it more sticky, put a smidgen more water. So Joe put three-fourths of an inch. The water was three-fourths of an inch above the rice. If you want it more sticky than this, but I don't see why you would. It's going to be rice pudding if you do that. But I guess it's a preference thing. So I'm just serving it up for my thumbnail. And then guess what I have to do next? Change my clothes. Pretend like it's a different day. <laughs> Pretend like it's not Monday the 9th. It's the 9th, right? Monday the 9th. And just tape my show for the pan seared salmon because it's all gonna be a part of this meal. So I think what I'll do is show you the plate at the end, all right? So don't forget to pick up my book. Don't forget to share the video, like, subscribe, comment. Yeah, I think I covered everything. Follow us here at Facebook. All right, so let me pretty this up for my thumbnail picture and then I'm gonna move on to my next thing so you can see the plate at the end. Remember guys, we are not buying this book. Because if you do, the only people that are making money from that book are my ex-distributor and Amazon. Pick up this book instead. This is my Belizean cookbook. It has 120 authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already, but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time. Hot off the presses, this is my second cookbook, guys. It's called The Pantry Laid Bare, and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book, all right? 111 delicious dishes from basic ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. 
Thanks, guys. Won't you come and try this warm delight? This is the Bear Pantry Show.